spike here and guard and Deb's, Deb's holding the camera. And you know, last month, well actually before last month, we've been starting to think about having a, a Jeep and towing it, a little small camper with us maybe and going camping at different places. Still keeping our class B, we love our, we love our beyond, never getting rid of it. But just having a small camper would open up a lot more opportunities to do some stuff. We go out west, we can go trail riding and leave the camper behind and stuff like that. So if you might have saw, I bought a Jeep Gladiator, but it was a sport model. And it was kind of limited on towing capacity. It can only tow like 4,500 pound trailer, which, is, which was fine at first because we were thinking of a smaller camper. But... Um, as we started looking at the campers, we, we really fell in love with a couple that are right at 32, 3,400 pounds empty. So by the time you put water in them and clothes and food and gear, it'd be at the limit of my, um, my Jeep uh, Gladiator at 4,500 pounds. So um, not wanting to stress it like that, I, we looked at something else and I traded in my Jeep, yay, you know, and here's my new one. I picked up a, a Rubicon. It's also a Gladiator, but this one will tow 7,000 pounds. So that gives me a really nice safety cushion. So I'm not like maxed out. I can be like 80% of the towing capacity. But here it is. It's a 2021 Gladiator. And uh, it's really funny because when the day we picked it up, we were over uh, getting it. And my our son called. He said, uh, where y'all at? I said, oh, I'm getting some new tires. And he said, really, new tires? Because he knew I only had the other one for like four weeks, maybe. And uh, he said, you're getting new tires? I said, yeah. He goes, uh, did they give you some trade-in on your old tires? Because they're pretty new. I said, yeah, they gave me a trade-in on the tires. He said, oh, okay. I said, well, I'll show, it to, I'll show you the tires when we get home when we get to the house tonight. So later on, he got to the house. And I said, you want to go out and see my new tires? And he walked out and looked at the drive and goes, wow the tires they, they look nice they they really make the jeep look different he said uh did you get new wheels too and i said yeah i i got new wheels also and they looked up and saw the rubicon up there he goes you gotta be kidding me you got a new jeep already and i said yeah well here it is it's uh it's pretty nice i'm really happy about it it has it's more than just pretty nice okay yeah, it's, it's, really, <laughs> it's, it's really real nice. nice it's really nice I have the LED headlights and fog lights. And yeah, um, something different is the uh, flat matte, well, the matte black trim within the headlight uh, opening. That from and, our white one? Yeah, and around the uh, mm -hmm. grill. It's got the front camera, trail trim. cam, yep. which is nice. I already made a couple little tiny changes to it. Uh, I got rid of the uh, big whip antenna, and I just got a little stubby there. And we have... Um, they're running the uh, rock sliders with little steps on them to make it easier to get in and out of. And then uh, it's got the tan interior. It doesn't have the red dash. A lot of the gladiators have red dash, with red trim. This one's got the pewter. And I like that. And I also added a couple of these little handles up here, little grab handles just to give it a little spike. 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 Spike sees a doodle. Bye. <laughs> you should have seen that. He had his nose caught in yeah. his leash. It was pretty funny. Spike sometimes gets <laughs> a little loud when he sees a dog. Sometimes. But uh, so there we got the windows. It got the, the front windows are tinted. And in the back seat, we have a little spike protection here, plus a tether for him so he can ride back there tethered up and not scratch up the, the interior. Here's one of my favorite. Uh, upgrades from the sport to the rubicon is oh yes uh i guess you call it keyless entry where uh you can you don't have to take your key out of your pocket yeah and push the button it just doors are locked knows that your key is here and it opens for you and then you can also yeah touch the button to lock yeah. it i like that i don't yeah. like taking my key out of my just, pocket it's the proximity the proximity uh key yeah i just walk up and put my hand here and unlock it lock it i don't have to dig out this big old fob and press the buttons or nothing it's nothing that um earth shattering it's just the fact that the other one didn't have it exactly so yeah like that and then um 
Oh, it's got the, the white roof, color match roof. How about the tires? The wheels are different. Yeah, it's got the Rubicon wheels and tires. A bigger tire. They're 285.70s as opposed to 245.70s, so they're about an inch and a half taller. They're 30, 33 inch tall tires. Rock slider here, right? Yeah, it's got the, the Rubicons have a little rock slider here. And it's got the tailgate with the, oh, it's locked. Let me unlock it. Red toe hooks. So I'll have to unlock Rear it. Rear camera right there under the mm -hmm. Jeep. Yeah. It's got the LED tail lights. It's got the easy opening tailgate. So you can do that. I'm going to have to get it bed lined. That would be my next thing. Yeah, the other one had a bed liner. It was a really neatly done bed liner. Yeah. Class 4 receiver hitch, which that's, that's the big thing to help us tow with. I put a little Coast Guard sticker on it here. It's a little Coast Guard emblem flag. And, uh, but yeah, back to the interior though. I really like this. It's got a hop on Spike. Okay, back seat. Spike, get a back seat. Good boy. So it has a. It's got a lot of nice features. It has the four switches over here. Come over to the other side. We'll come around. I'll do it over there. Okay. Okay. So it has, it has the four auxiliary switches where I can wire in some different lights if I want to and program program them to be on when the ignition's on or not on. That's a really nice little feature there. It has uh, the media where you can hook up your iPhone or uh, uh, USB and stuff like that, auxiliary in. It's got the eight and a half inch or the 8.4 inch um, the monitor here. And it's really nice because it has all the the uh, off-road pages because it's a Rubicon. It has neat stuff. For example, I can come in here and I can do uh, my front-facing camera. Yeah, it's really nice. I like the front-facing camera. And if your camera gets dirty, a little mud on it, you can just wash it off. Pretty cool. Rear camera. And if I'm hooking up a hitch, you got the zoom. So that's nice. Um, let's see, what else was there? Uh, what are, I'm looking for, oh yeah, under um, controls, I think it is. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, and uh, let's see, we got the uh, navigations built in. I like the navigation. Is this is really, it's really a, uh, it's a nice, it's a nice Jeep. I mean, I really like this. It's uh, a lot more than I was expecting to get when I bought it. Page that has all the gauges. That's a pretty good page. Yeah. Show me that, okay? I like that page. Yeah. We were looking at it the other day because we were in traffic and we just wanted to see how hot everything was getting, like the coolant and so forth. Yeah, you can come in here. Uh, which one is this? Because the other, the sport model didn't have that. It's not there. It's somewhere else. Oh, uh, where is it? Do, do, do. It's the off road pages. Let's see. Okay. Traveling, projection. All front pages right down here. Oh, oh, thanks. I'm kind of blind sometimes. It takes a little few minutes to load because it's just, I guess it's loading a lot of information. Mm -hmm. It's gathering data, like all yeah. that. In the, in the world of uh, instant, gratification everything you want it right away <laughs> i had to wait a few seconds the little jeep runs across the hill okay. okay so you have uh your gauges you can see your battery your transmission so when we're pulling we can watch the transmission temperature oil pressure oil temperature coolant you can come in here you can look at your drive so if your steering wheel is turned a little bit i got it turned 11 degrees uh, pitch and roll that's kind of nice slope down just a little bit and I'm leaning left a little it also has your uh, your GPS where you're at and the altitudes of, oh the altitudes yeah, yeah that's we're fun 1061 foot there's that trail cam again that's pretty cool uh, what else we got drivetrain yeah so a lot of neat stuff there climate it's got a uh, left and right you know uh, individual temperatures Dual control. Dual control, that's the word. 
you can also set uh, different things you can pull up like you can pull up controls here to turn on the heated seats and that if you wanted to you can pull that in different places uh, let's see what's this two three oh, that's my fan speed okay so yeah it's really neat oh, so, yeah so you can control your air conditioner from here or with the knobs yeah you still have your manual controls down here mm -hmm. and you got my the since it's a Rubicon it has front and rear lockers so you can turn them on here and turn them off there you got the uh, uh, transfer case selector here and you can also put it in manual mode or you can have it in drive automatic so uh, it's really nice I'm really excited about it and I uh, can't wait to to get a little trailer to pull on it pull behind it but that'll be down the road and then uh, Spike I think he's happy back there he's he's happy with it <laughs> but uh yeah are you ha you don't look happy Spike but yeah he's, he's because he has those pretty eyes sometimes he looks a little sad or wistful yeah hey Spike hey buddy so, yeah uh, you can sit on my lap all right well that's my new Rubicon um probably the uh, the other one was a sport with the freedom package I guess it was probably the uh quickest uh, shortest owned vehicle that I've had except for a Mustang I had one time it was only I think four days I got rid of it didn't Mustang like it. was it a Mustang or Mustang 2 no it was just a, it was a Mustang and it was it was not at all what I wanted so it lasted it lasted as many days as it had cylinders it was a four cylinder Mustang <laughs> I don't know why I bought it it was white hmm my white Jeep and my white Mustang but I'm gonna keep this one a lot longer so uh Something about the Rubicon is, yeah. or uh, actually the Gladiator, it has the roomiest back seat. It is very roomy. Yeah, we ate barbecue in the back seat of the other one before we traded in. We stopped at um, Rib Country and had Spike with us, so we had to eat outside. And we sat, pushed the front seats forward, and we sat in the back and had barbecue. Oh, it was like sitting in a Maybach. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. yeah. So, well, it's a nice vehicle. Well, that's my new Rubicon, new uh, Jeep Gladiator, 7,000 towing pounds of, of, of uh, brute strength. It's kind of, mm, it's, it's not a lot, of, it's not a torque monster, but it's going to work good. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you got any questions or any comments, love to hear them. Uh, just leave them in the video notes below, and uh, we'll hopefully see you out on the road somewhere. Go out, see America. It's a great place to visit. It's a great place to tour america it's just a plane that's just a great place so, great place to live great place to live it's it's great love our country yep so thanks for watching and uh for all my coast guard buddies semper paratus and we'll talk to you guys later bye and hmm, this was also i think on guard's bucket list because he's never had a jeep before except for my uh scrambler uh, my uh yeah. Oh, yeah i had a scrambler but it didn't run how about you never drove your own jeep before <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i had one i had a cherokee but that doesn't count that wasn't yours yeah yeah okay <laughs> okay well that was the postscript so thanks yeah. again bye everybody which may or may not make the cut <laughs> okay bye again <laughs>